I'm so, so, super excited because Nengi stylishly accepted Ozo's love proposal. Stay on Sunday. You must stay there Monday, right, okay? Yeah. yeah. True. Fine boy. Mm -hmm. Hi, your female fans, eh? You know they have to go for me. That's you see, in fact, I, I need... Nengi marked her territory in Ozo's life, saying his female friends would have to go through her to get access to him. The Bayesa state-born Rebecca Nengi Hams has turned down Ozo's love proposal a million times, saying there can never be anything romantic between them until yesterday, when a comment she made suggests she may have agreed to his request and warns his potential girlfriends. Wow, like, I am happy for Ozo because it's not easy. Ozo have been trying to get Nengi's attention, care, and love for a very long time. And then finally, she decided to mark her territory in his life. So in Nengi's words, she said, Fine boy, hope you know your female friends have to come through me before they get access to you. Wow, my baby girl is already stylishly marking her territory. And I hope that all these girls out there waiting for Ozo to come out, I hope they've heard they should just keep up because Nengi has taken her spot in Ozo's life. So moving on, Dorothy gets mad at Ozo and Lee Khan. I felt like we're just trying to be deceptive. No, Ozo. It's annoying because you freaking said it. Me or did not say it. I, you know, Ozo, you, you said it. I know, I'm you not brought it up. up. Yeah, yeah, I hope nobody hid anything in the first season. You said no. was, was it your intention for us, all of us, to diverge as in, like, we should not think about it? Because it made no freaking sense. It was not a joke. Did you see the straight way to walk? Dorothy went on a vent this morning over Ozo's betrayal. It was obvious that Dorothy, who is always the life of the party in the Big Brother Ninja lockdown house, was in a bad mood today. After dressing up for the day, Dorothy went into the garden to talk to Lekon, who was in Ozo's group yesterday, and barred her mind to him over what they did yesterday. She told Lekon that she has been upset with some housemates, specifically Lekon and Ozo, because of the sponsor task yesterday which was why she was ignoring them and minding her business so she doesn't say hurtful things to them dorothy was team lead for her group yesterday same as ozo and neil and while having their treasure hunt ozo misled dorothy into thinking that he did not hide any of her team's item in the closet of the bedroom when that was exactly where he hid them Dorothy was very annoyed that Ozo would betray her that way, knowing that she doesn't possess the same physical strength as the guys, and turning the house upside down was going to wear her out easily. She told Lekon that although she understood this was a game, she was not expecting that kind of treatment from people she considered her friends. Lekon's crime in all this was not speaking up when he saw her struggling with both faces of the game, when he could have easily interpreted the general brief for her when he saw that she didn't understand it. She said it would not have changed anything seeing that all the housemates were given a general brief. Lekon apologized and said he was not aware of what Ozo had done to her initially. And as for the second part of the game, he should have said something, but he didn't, and he was sorry for it. Although Dorothy had not spoken to Ozo about it, she said she was tired of the bad energy in the house, and that was why she had to speak to Lekon about it. So moving on, Kidwai finally spoke on the reason why he continued friendship with Lekon after Erika left. People keep saying... People are threatened of me. I have no idea why. My name gets, always gets called up with these guys. But I had no issue with Lekon and I had no issue with Erica being friends with Lekon. And I felt no type of way her, her finding him mentally attractive. Like, I, the guy is smart. Yeah. He's got a good brain and he's a funny guy. So I, I, I respected him for that. 
The big brother Niger housemate Kidwaya has explained why he continued being friends with Lekon despite his alleged part in the disqualification of his love interest Erica. Erica was asked to leave the reality show after she insulted Lekon and received a third strike two weeks ago. However, Kidwaya and Lekon continued their bromance. During an interview on the Beat FM on Tuesday morning, Kidwaya was asked if his friendship to Lekon amounted to disloyalty to Erica. He replied, That would have been me being disloyal to myself because I had no issues with him. I even asked Erica if I could call Lekon so we sit down and talk things over because I was not really the problem. My name just comes up in everything. So it's quite cool to know that Kidwaya did not let Erica's issue get between his friendship with Lee Korn. I'm so happy for them. Still on Big Brother Ninja updates, Kidwaya opposes his father's take on the sharing of the money made in the Big Brother Ninja house with his lover Erica. Okay, if you win the money, you would um, share it with Erica, you know, like giving Erica all of it. Just, I'm just saying, out of love, you know. But the money would have went to better use. Okay. Okay. Straight to my foundation. Okay, okay. Uh, oh. For charity work. Um, and I've always maintained that. Yeah. Not a penny would have went to anyone else because uh, there's, there's people who actually need it. Mm -hmm. um, me and Erica have our own arrangement, like we want something out. But All right, cool. I've always said if I win the money, it goes straight to my foundation. That's just mm -hmm. a very, very, just a very, very good time. And uh, really, if, uh, if my son should win, this, I will uh, make sure that he gives her half of her, uh, half of his oh. winning. Yeah, oh. yeah, he, yeah, oh. he gives, yeah, he gives her half of oh. the winning and then the rest half to, to charity, you know, to charity. So, so Erica is at it again as she breaks the internet with magnificent beauty and outfit. A video making rounds on social media sees ex-housemate of the Big Brother Ninja Lockdown Season 5, Erica, looking very stylish. Erica has defied the odds of being deeply affected by her disqualification from the Big Brother Ninja house following her disrespect for rules and regulations governing the house. As can be seen on social media, the star girl is more vibrant as ever, regardless of the disgrace the disqualification might have brought upon her. In the video, Erica was spotted in a beautiful makeup and matching outfit, which describes her happy mood and new lifestyle. Chest success star girl. Like, I'm happy for Erica. I'm happy that she's finally out of her shell and all.